ESPN, during LeBron's sophomore year, St. Vincent and St. Mary's averaged 4,705 fans, which is very impressive. For That's really impressive for a high school team. LeBron's sophomore year of high school, you could buy season tickets to his game or catch him on pay-per-view. Honestly, the pay-per-view option is insane that they had that for, for a high school basketball team. Usually, most of that time, it's for combat sports, boxing, usually, or MMA or UFC, something like that. But for high school basketball, it's insane. Really shows the magnitude of how big LeBron James was at the time. They had moved move the St. Vincent St. Mary's games to a bigger stadium to hold the amount of people that were looking to go to these games. Sports Illustrated, he took a chunk of me when he retired, and then when he came back, I was like, I need that for sure. LeBron James on drawing inspiration at his age from 45-year-old Tom Brady, who briefly retired in 2022 via Chris Ballard, Sports Illustrated, which he earlier mentioned about Tom Brady, about how his inspiration when he's playing at 45 and things like that. And honestly, he saw a lot of himself in Tom Brady and really just drawing inspiration, like he said, which I definitely think it does make sense. After you're retired, it would be like, what happened? Is he going to retire? I wonder if he was questioning if he's going to stay retired or not or anything like that. But what do you think about this comment? from LeBron James, and what do you think about Tom Brady retiring and then coming back? That's honestly a very interesting thing that happened. Bleacher Report Grand, the Raiders honestly have been horrible drafting. Raiders draft picks from 2018 to 2021. Let's see what's happening to them. It says, look away, Raiders fan. So if you're a Raiders fan, look away from this. It's not going to look good. And this is honestly a very interesting story. Bleacher Report Grand, 2018, second round defensive tackle, PJ Hall, cut after failing physical. Third round defensive end, Arden K, released. Honestly, not too, not off to a good start, to be honest. 2018 was a very so-so year, it seems like, for drafting and what happened. Bleacher Report Grand, 2019, first-round defensive end, Colin Farrell, running back Josh Jacobs, and safety Jonathan Abram, deny 50-year options. Second-round Trayvon Mullen, traded for a conditional seventh-rounder, which I don't know why they were trading for a seventh-rounder, and both the players... Those three players to, to hide the fifth-year option. Honestly, they probably should have tried to game even more. But what do you think about this move from the Raiders? Bleacher Report Ground 2020. First-round wide receiver Henry Ruggs and cornerback Damon Arnett both waived. We both know the reason why Henry Ruggs got waived. I'm not going to go into it, but third-round running back slash wide receiver Lynn Bowden traded the Dolphins. Wide receiver Brian Edwards traded the Falcons. Safety Terry Muse released. A lot of players released. And a lot of players waved as well. Bleacher Report Grand 2021, this was yesterday. First round offensive lineman Alex Leatherwood was waived after one season. A lot of people thought he actually could have went later in the round. That was a horrible pick to take him right there. There were better players they could have taken. This was a horrible 